Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. Before we get to our project, I wanted to show y'all this paper that I had um, dyed using that uh, muddy green <laughs> water that I had inked in that um, watercolor tag video I just did. And I used some of that um, watercolor paper that I had splattered right before it dried. I turned it upside down on some of these pages. And I love how they look. I love how they turned out. Some of the purple that was at the bottom of the pan kind of mingled in there. And then I love laying the papers on top of one another. And you get these um, little variations from it. That was some of that purple that was down in there that kind of just smudged onto that one. So really cute papers. This one, look at that. It all didn't, this was one of the last ones I put in the pan. So all of it didn't get covered. So that's why you got that. And some of these are just very plain looking. They're just a little bit different. But then that one has some extra little stuff on it. So, you know, even when you um, do a project and it doesn't turn out exactly like you wanted it, like that green muddy water that I got, <laughs> I didn't want that at all. But then um, after I got done with the watercolor paper, I got some papers for my journals out of it. So I'm loving that. Look at that one. Cute. So anyways, that is my uh, paper dyeing from the um, muddy water. And the watercolor. Look at that one. Cute. Love it, love it. So we can make anything that wasn't exactly what we wanted into something that we didn't even know we needed. There we go. Now I've got an abundance of tea dyed and ink dyed papers at my disposal for journals. So I'm loving that. I am working in my journal today, one of my junk journals that I have completed as far as structure goes, but I still need to do some decorating in. And I wanted to use some paper lunch bags to make a um, layered pocket, um, kind of like a stack pocket. And um, I wanted to let y'all in on the little journey to do this. So I am using two bags that are, it's just the standard lunch bag, like 10 and, 10 and three fourths inches by five and a half. So they're five and a half wide. So it goes beautifully in a half sheet journal. So if you're making half sheet journals, these are the lunch bags for you because they go in perfectly. There's no having to cut off one side and glue it and all that stuff. So we're going to be using two of those, just the standard brown lunch bags. And I'm going to cut this little part off up top where it's got, you know, they have their own little pull tab lip. I'm going to just cut that off and then I'm going to show you on the bottom of this one what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to the edge of the bottom of that little divot that they've put there and cutting just that little piece off. So that one little strand and then on this base one I'm cutting off this bottom. And when you do that, you can, there are, there is a cute little um, tutorial on how to use this piece as an expander pocket that pops out. Mom, uh, Scrapbooking With Me Crafts, E on Scrapbooking With Me Crafts, she has the cutest little tutorial on the pop-up expander pocket using the bottom. So I'm planning on doing that with this piece. So on the base of this sack, you're just cutting off right at the edge that bottom pocket. And we can use that to make the little pop-up pocket later on another page. 
but this is what I am left with. So I'm going to put it as close to the top as I want it. Because remember, you're going to make a pocket here and there's going to be things coming out of it. So I'm probably going to come down a little bit pretty far here on the top to put stuff down in there, but be able to still take it out and it not stick out of the top. Now you could also make the stuff where it just sticks out of the top and no problem. And I mean, if you like stuff sticking out of the top of your journal, go for it. It's not a big deal. Now, if you've got one that's got some wonkiness here on the bottom, you can either glue it down or just kind of come across here and take off that that's bunched up because this part is going to be a fold up and we're going to have a pocket here and then this is going to be a pocket so we're going to have a three layer pocket and we're going to start it probably i'm going to cut off some of the top of this one too because i want to have enough room to have a good um semicircle right here half circle there and then have pocket there and here so what i'm probably going to do is yep yeah, okay let's do that um so i need you can see it's hanging off of the page about what is that about three quarters of an inch so what i'm going to do is cut off three quarters of an inch off of the top of this pocket or this bag <laughs> that is becoming a pocket all right i'm going to put it in this away and I'm going to go up to the three-quarter mark. Remember, don't go up to the one and three-quarter mark. Go up to the th three-quarter mark and just lop off that top there. So there's the top of that bag gone. And so we've got that there that I'm going to cut the semicircle on. And then we've got this one and then this one. Oh yeah, that works out really well. So I'm going to come up just a touch more here and then fold this up where I want it here. So we're kind of even. Okay. That looks pretty even to me there. And I'm going to ink edges so you can see that a little bit better in just a minute. But I'm also going to get my pencil and make a mark out here. And that just shows me how far up I'm going to go with this pocket. All right. And then, hmm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you could always do this and have four pockets, but I think it's going to be too bulky if I do that. Um, you could glue the edges down here and have a pocket behind and then a pocket inside on that second bag. But I think I'm going to glue this together and just glue down the edges and have this pocket and then pocket behind and then pocket behind. Okay. You could, you know, open this up and make a fifth pocket if you wanted to. If you have a journal that is not already too thick, go for it. But I'm just going to go with a three pocket right now. So on this one, I'm going to get my liquid glue and I'm just going to put a line of glue down here and close up this bottom flap so that when it is in your journal it's closed up down here so I just put a line of glue on the bottom that's going to be my top and just close that up down there so when I put in some large tags or something like that they're not going to um, fall through 
Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and close this up. I know somebody out there is saying, oh my word, she's using lunch bags and she's closing up one of the openings from the lunch bag. I sure am. Guess what? Paper crafting. You do you, I'll do me. And uh, that's how paper crafting works. You do what you want to do. The paper crafting police like me here lately, but I'm just not listening. I'm putting my fingers in my ears and going, la, 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 la. <laughs> oh, me. Okay, there is that one closed up. And then before I glue the edges of this one to make this pocket, I'm going to decorate. So... Here's how it's going to be. See, there's my little mark there. I'll pull that up and show you. There's my mark where the top of this one is going to be. There. Okay, so I've got a three-layer. I'll do a, just a little inking. I'm going to cover this up, but I'll do a little inking so you can see my three layers here, there, and that top one. Okay, so that's a little better. All right, now I'm going to decorate these. So on this one, all you're really going to need decorated is that flap. And then remember, I'm going to cut me a semicircle, a half circle right here. So it's just going to be a little spot that's going to be decorated. And then on this bag, all that's decorated is this part. And then I'll have a notch of some kind on this one too. And then... The most decoration is going to go on this bottom flap of this second bag. So we'll need to decorate that the most. The others will just barely be seen. And I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of, since this is going in my um, coffee dyed splattered, <coughs> excuse me, journal. See, I've got a lot of splattering and stuff going on in here. I think I will do a few splatters on this also. And I'm thinking I might want to use some of that watercolor paper that I used in the last video also. Okay, I think I'm going to go with some of this um, floral dictionary printable that I got from... Um, my porch prints. I'm thinking that just because it doesn't have too many florals on it, and this is not really a florally um, type journal, but I'm loving that um, word print there. So I'm thinking that for the top here. I've got some postcard too from her, but I don't know if I like that as far as anything up here because you're not going to be able to see much of it. I'm thinking that for that part, yes, I like that. And look, it's almost perfect as far as width. Okay, and then I'm not too crazy about that print from Mr. Holtz. So I don't think I'll use that, but I think I will go with that for that piece. And then, maybe if I, I can find one more of her little florals, I could just do, since you're not really going to see a bunch of it, I could just do some more of that. All right, so I've got it laid out like I want it. I'm using the um, dictionary page digital from my porch prints on the top and the bottom pocket, and then a piece of Tim Holtz cardstock from the Memoranda collection on my middle pocket, and I'm going to ink my edges with the um, walnut stain. Go around all the edges. If I have to trim off something later, Fine, I'll just re-ink that edge how I need to. And I am going to add some 
little tab pieces on these also to make it kind of look file folder-ish. I think that will be cute on each of the little pockets. So walnut stain there and there. And then walnut stain this one. And once we get this decorated, then we can glue it down and then get it put down in our journal. And if we have time, I'll do a few other little decorations in my journal and show you some things I've just put in it recently. I'll one day have a full flip through of that journal, but <clears throat> who knows when I'll be done decorating all of it. Now, I didn't have to ink the bottom of that because it's not going to be seen, but I just went ahead. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that bottom bag off, and I'm going to get this paper and line it up at the top, and I'm not going to cut my big opening here. I'm not going to do that until I've got this paper on because if I did it now, I would have to just go back and do it again when I had the paper put on. So I'm going to glue this down. Some of it's not going to get used. So I'm not being too particular with how I'm putting the glue down. Up there. Okay. So we've got the opening there. It's glued closed at the bottom. There's your opening. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to get a bowl or something and I'm going to make myself a little circle, um, half circle looking piece. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it with this. My little bowl that holds my clips. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, I'm thinking it needs to come up. <laughs> Look, I still have the price on the bottom of this. This came from um, Alwine's Pottery um, in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It sure did. It was about the only thing I could afford. <laughs> they have be they have beautiful stuff, but it's way expensive. Um, since I'm wanting to do file tabs, let's see. Do I want to do a file tab on the top or just the two? I think just these two I'm going to do the file tabs on. And I'm going to leave this one as is after I get this... Um, semicircle cut out of it. So I'm going to lay my bowl down how I want it. This is almost perfect. I love that. Um, and then, oh look, I covered up my spot where I was going to put this. I should have marked that because I need to go just right above that spot. So let's get that back. I should have marked my spot where my second pocket was going to go before I started getting that in there. Okay, let's see here. That needs to go about there. And then, yeah, let's come up just a little bit more. And then that pocket needs to start there. I'm going to make my little pencil mark here, and I can erase that later. Okay, so now I have my pencil mark. Journal out of the way again. There's my pencil mark, so I don't want to go below that. So let's just come up a little bit, because I want this to show some before doing my second pocket. So if I do that there... Yes, you're going to see plenty of it, so I'm going to make my pencil mark where I want this big semicircle on this top pocket. So I'm just going along with my pencil along the edge of the bowl, and that's, that makes my little mark there 
where I need to trim that out. And I'm only going to trim out the front so this will be seen. And I wanted some of the paper bag to be seen. Now, I don't know. Once I get this cut out, I might think, mm, go ahead and trim that off. But I'm thinking right now that I don't want to do that. Um, now I've got to make the decision, do I want to cut the gussets? And I do. I want to cut the gussets. So I'm going to get me a binder clip and hold those gussets <clears throat> together here, but inside my, where my cut line's going to be. So when you open this up, you're just going to see that back piece of bag. So I'm just going to go along with my gusset and cut along that line. All right. So there is my top pocket. And there are my gussets cut also. And I think I'm going to glue these gussets to this. So when it opens up, you've got that, just that one pocket. So let's glue those gussets to our pattern paper that we used, our little digital. And then I'm going to glue on the inside also, just where that gusset comes together. So it's all toward the front. I'm going to just barely push because I don't want it to get on this back piece. Okay. So then when you open up, there you go. You've got a clean pocket. I'm going to come up here glue some of that down too so we come all the way to the top that one is all the way to the top already so there is our clean pocket right there so that's the top now let's get this glue down on the front of this pocket Okay, and I will trim off any extra I have on this one. I've got just a little bit of hangover. And I will trim that off in just a minute when all this is good and dry. Get a paper towel here and get my excess glue off. Okay, and we're good. Let's do a little bit more right here. So that stays together. Okay, there's my pencil line. It's gonna go there. Let me get my sticky scissors and get this excess off the edges. And being careful not to cut my paper bag. just barely have some on this side okay so let's go ahead and get a little bit more ink up here and then on the edges here before we glue down that bottom flap let's go all the way here and all the way there and see how that looks yep I like that and I believe I will go ahead and do my notch Let me get my big circle punch one and a half inch circle punch and I'm gonna go to the middle which will be there. I'm just eyeballing it if you want to 
do it precisely, go for it. But I'm good even if we're not in the exact middle. And then I'm going to ink my notch. And remember, this is going to all be down. This, this is not open here. We're going to glue this down just on the edges and all the way down the edges of this back bag. This one is not open at the top. We're gonna go back behind it here like that. I love stacked pockets. Love them, love them. All right, so from our little mark here, we're going to put glue all the way down the edge. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on this pocket and get it as centered up as possible. And then make sure it's on straight. Everything lines up. There we go. And if you're wanting to do something else to this one, um, splatter it, whatever you're wanting to do, go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to wait and splatter everything when I get it all put together and then I'll do some drops. So I'm going to make sure that this pocket is where it needs to be before I decorate it and glue it down to make sure that it's correct as far as my page goes, and it is. So we're good to go ahead and decorate our bottom flap now. And then we can put it, adhere it into our journal. I really like how that is looking. Pretty, pretty. I even love this little semicircle there. I will use that for something else. I'm keeping that. All right. Yep, I really like that. So let's go ahead and glue this piece down. And then however you're gonna notch this one, um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do the same kind of notch as here. And then I will have a um, little file tab either on this side or this side and then whichever side I put it on that side then I'll put it on the opposite side for this one so let's go ahead and get that on there straight how it needs to be it needs to come up just a touch on that side get all my excess glue off and then see here we've got that um, where that bag here attaches there and you're just going to put a little line of glue under there do it so y'all can see me do it i should have done that whenever i was putting that second pocket on so there's the bottom of our second pocket glued into um, place. And then we're gonna line this up. I've still got to ink that. Gonna line this up and I don't know. I don't think I want, I'm, I think I like the three different pockets. So I don't think I'm gonna do a notch here. Um, I'll do pieces that are tall enough that I can get them out easily. I don't think I'm going to do a notch there. I'm just going to do me a little tab and a tab. Yep. So no notch on that one. If you want to do a notch, go for it. I'm just um, being silly and not wanting to put a notch on this one. Okay, so you're going to just glue down the edges of that front piece and then come up and make sure your 
straight and even. On both sides. And then all the way to the top, I've got a little bit of pull away here. I'll just close that up. Okay, I'm not going to pull too hard because that's still not dry. But you've got a pocket here. You've got your pocket here. And you've got your top pocket. I love that. Too cute. Now, before I do the rest of my decorating. Oh, that's too cute. I love that. And when you put it into your journal, you're going to want to put it as far away from this spine as possible so that when you close it up, you're not going to get any bulky um, turnover on the edge. So if you have issue with um, it not being completely center, then you'll need to trim down your pocket and glue your edge a little bit. But I am good with it being toward the outside and giving me more room. Oh yeah, that works. All right, let's get this big semicircle inked. Okay, so I have that inked. I went ahead and inked the top there too. And I've got this in my box, my spray box. And instead of spraying like this, I hardly ever do that. I always like to um, just pick the spray um, topper off the top and just kind of go along, make little random spritz and sprays around. So this is the tarnished brass. It is not the oxide. I love how it looks. It does have the, you can hear, it's got the little um, shaker ball in it, just like the oxides do though. And then this is vintage photo and this is oxide. So I'm going to do just a few little random spots of it. And that's plenty. When that dries, it will have um, the oxide, the oxidation kind of um, silvery look in it. It's already doing it here at the top. Let me show you. It's already drying there, as you can see. So I'm going to let, oh, that is looking so pretty. Look at that, how it's already doing its oxidation thing. I love that. While that's drying, we are going to, I'm gonna put this off to the side over here. So while that's drying, we're going to make the little um, tabs for the top of it. Let me get my tab punch out. If you do not have a tab punch, of course, you can just cut out one with uh, any kind of template. There's all kinds of uh, tab templates on Google. So you could definitely do it that way. But I'm going to use this tab punch and I'm going to use some scrap craft colored cardstock. I know everybody's like, no way. You're using craft cardstock. Yes, why yes I am. I love me some craft cardstock, that's for sure. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I never use it to catch the tab, so I'm just gonna cut it off, and that is wide enough. I'm going to fold my craft cardstock over trim it here because to get my double flap and that's what I'm wanting even though this is going on a pocket where you won't see the back flap I like the thickness of the double flap and I'm gonna have to do this come at an angle over here off the side all right and remember I've demonstrated this before you just leave that little space at the top and that gets you your double 
tab. You pull out your excess. See, there's the, and then there's your little double tab. This is some really thin um, craft cardstock also. So it is easy to use in my, or on my pocket that's in my journal. It's not going to make it too thick. All right. And then again, we'll come over here and leave. <laughs> yeah, you did have to do the folded at the top. I already had that, but it was just like I couldn't grasp it to get it out. There we go. There's your doubles. All right. And then I'm just going to ink the one side. These are also so much easier to put on a project if you've got the doubles instead of just the one tab. It's lots, lots easier to grab onto and to place. I didn't realize I had y'all so far off. You were seeing my leg and legs. Hey, at least I had leggings on, right? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, then I'm going to use a stamp punch. A uh, stamp punch. A stamp, I do believe. And I'm going to stamp on these. They're going to go on the pocket. Now, let's see. Ooh, I like gratitude. I like that. And then, let's see, one more. I just want to do something different than the Tim Holtz. Okay, so I'm using the gratitude word there and real life word here. This is a Felicity Jane stamp set, and this is an Illustrated Faith stamp set. And I realize now why the camera angle was so wonky. I had that... Um, spray box up and so it was hanging off the edge of the desk and when I started the video back up when I got the box up here I didn't straighten out the camera angle so duh that's why y'all could see my leg and legs okay I'm using stays on ink just because I'm going on to craft paper and this does have a rough um texture to it so I'm just going to make sure that it is going to adhere okay so on the one I need to kind of angle it this way so I can see so you don't see my um top of my head get that on there as straight as possible if it's not straight straight it's okay too and let's see. Yep, I'm going to have to do that again. I waited too long. This stays on ink. Dries really, really quickly. I'm just going to do it on the other side and I'll ink it. Dries very quickly. So you have to get on there and get it done quick. See, like that. Now I will just ink the edges of this one and no it is not straight i'm good with that okay and then gratitude put that on here and i'm going to try my best to do this quickly and right smack in the middle okay i'm good with that <laughs> yep, I like that um, font too that Illustrator Faith did that. It looks like um, typewriter font. And so that looks like a real honest to goodness office worker in the 40s or 50s did that. I like that. So now we have our two little tabs, and I believe our pocket is pretty dry. Oh yeah, and look, if you can see that shimmer that you're getting from both of those um, sprays that I used, that um, 
tarnished brass spray is gorgeous. It's a just a really goldy brass looking color. I love that. And then that oxide is just so pretty when it dries. So I'm thinking that I want real life up here on this one and just try to get it all the way to the edge there. Yep, we can do that. Real life gratitude here at this edge. Yep, thinking that is good. And then I think I want to add one of my little watercolor paper panels here at the bottom and then maybe put a die cut of some kind there too. Let's look here at what we've got. I've got some blue that's in that journal. Oh, I like that. Even though it's a bigger piece, I like that. I could do it there and not cover up my speckle that I like. Oh, I like that. And it will go really good in that page that I'm putting it on. Because see, I've got blue on this side. So if I do this and put those blue birds, yep, that's gonna go very pretty. So if these little blue birds are not your cup of tea, that's okay. Um, I really like this die cut though, since it goes with that other page that I'll be putting it on. And I think I just need about that much of that watercolor piece. So I will cut that. Where's my line? There it is. Cut that off and then I will ink the edges of that too. I think I'm just going to leave them straight edges, not round them. There, and then do my little birdie words here toward the bottom. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I don't want to hang it off any at all. Maybe have them like that. Cute. I like that little panel. That's pretty. All right, I'm gonna glue that down. Up a little higher. And that is a thicker piece because it is that watercolor. It says paper, but it's more cardstock feel than it is paper. But I'm sure that's just what they the terms they use in the watercolor world. So that is a little thicker. So that's gonna get you some girth in your journal, but it's not too much. Okay, and then put my little birds here. So they're not hanging off. Yep, I like that. Get that around on there. That die cut came from let's see I'm sitting here trying to think exactly what collection it came out of I'm wanting to say it was Prima but I'm not for sure I've used most all of it I know it came in an e-club kit so there's that but I can't remember <laughs> what um collection those are from. I've used most all of them, so I've done away with the packaging, and this was just sitting over in my little tower I've got over here. I've got one of those Rubbermaid um, towers. It's got the one, two, three, four, five drawers in it that I keep odds and in die cuts in odds and ends, die cuts ends. Okay. I like that. It's not going to look straight to me because I didn't stamp straight on there, and I'm good with that. Not a problem. 
And then I'm going to put this one on and this one's going to be a little tight just because I made it I think I'm going to trim off this back piece there so when I put that in there it will go all the way to the edge of all oh, look at there that actually worked <laughs> I, just, I just trimmed off that back flap on the tab piece just because it was buttoned up against this really hard and it wouldn't go in, in there good. So that actually worked. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, that and that. Got my little tabs. I think I'm gonna pull this tab up just a touch. Yep, I like it better up a little bit. Okay, and then I think I will get this typewriter washi, which is like my favorite washi ever that I've ever gotten from um, Coco Daisy. And I'm gonna do it a little sideways. There we go, yep. I'm gonna junk it up just a little bit by doing that. Oh, and I think maybe if I can get to the green part of this ombre. This was also Coco Daisy, I do believe. And these are from past kits, so, I mean, it might be a miracle that they have one of these left somewhere, but usually she sells out immediately with monthly kits. I'm wanting to get to this green right here. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, usually she sells out really quick on monthly kits so you just really have to be a monthly subscriber to get any of the Coco Daisy stuff usually all right I put that green up there just so it would kind of go along with some of this and then I think it needs a little something right there maybe another piece of this just torn which will, will be a feat in itself because it is thick. But let's see what a little piece of this looks like torn and put right there. Okay, I like that with the straight edge there. And then I'm thinking this piece, let's ink this. Let's just do a little bit of this watercolor on each of the layers. I'm thinking this piece right there. I mean, and when I put stuff in there, of course, maybe that's not going to be seen every time, but I like the look of that. So let's get that put down. And then a little bitty line. I'm going to use my little quilling bottle to do my little tiny line of glue and we actually have these in the shop now scrapbookingwithme.com the little fine tip quilling bottles quilling glue bottles I love them I loved it so much I went ahead and got them and put them in the shop for you for anyone looking for them Okay, so I really love how this pocket has come together. I think I need just a touch more glue on the edge of this so it will stay down because we are putting it up against washi tape. So it might need just a little more to keep it down there. There we go. That is better. I really like how junked up that looks. <laughs> if you're into junk journaling, you just absolutely love that wording, that terminology. <laughs> oh, me. All right, and then to put it in my journal, I'm going to use uh, score tape. 
Now, I've had quite a few questions from newbies, um, and I, I mean that in all um, respect. If you're new to paper crafting or junk journaling, I'm not being um, ugly when I call you a newbie. Um, but if you've never done um, paper crafting, or if you're new to paper crafting, or if you're new to junk journaling, um, I've had quite a few of you that have asked about score tape. Well, is, isn't that just double-sided tape? No. Uh, score tape is like my best friend as far as paper crafting goes. I love score tape. It is unlike any other double-sided tape I've ever used in my entire life. If you have um, an ATG, I don't even know where my ATG is, but if you have um, one of those, like the pink guns that dis distributes the um, double-sided tape, that does not even compare to how awesome score tape is. I'm just saying. So, if you love ATG, then you're going to absolutely fall in love with score tape. And we carry all sizes, all widths, in the shop, scrapbookingwithme.com. So, if you are wanting to try some, this is the, I think, 5 8 inch wide. We have it all the way from an eighth of an inch all the way up to one inch wide. And if you um, do lots of booking as far as putting books together and stuff, this is amazing stuff. So in between where I put my score tape, I'm just gonna reinforce with a little bit of liquid glue just so that I can get a little bit of wiggle room before I actually get it put down where I'm wanting it. That liquid glue, glue, uh, liquid glue gives me that wiggle room that I need before it all gets put down. And I think I need to come down a little bit. Okay. I'm good with that. This needs to come over this way some. There we go. And then I get my bone folder. And I'm going to go up with this since my layered pocket goes up. I don't want to go that way because I'll tear some stuff. Okay. So there is our three layer pocket. And I hear a Oh, yep, it's that right there, that piece there. Just kind of get my bone folder and fold that up just a little bit. So maybe I won't get that anymore. I'm still getting a little bit of resistance, but it's just because it's hanging over. So let's glue this part down. All right, so our pocket is finished. I just went in and um, if there was any of it coming apart on the edges, I just put in some liquid glue and pressed it down. So we've got a nice clean pocket now. And um, on inside the pockets, I just cut some like, little cut aparts from, I think this was Vintage Ancestry from Simple Stories. I just cut few of the little cut apart pieces out and kind of staggered them like that to make it so you got all that little bits showing from three pieces and then another piece of it just a little journaling card to go in that second one you could totally add some more stuff to that second pocket also and then this top pocket I did a little fold out so the butterflies and everything are upside down when you automatically fold it out, but you could add some um, tea dyed paper to the back of this and make it a flip out journal space. And I used my little slot punch to do that and just added some lace, like a library pocket there. And then added it to the top. And there is your finished 
three layer pocket to go in your journal. I love how that turned out, y'all. So cute and so me. <laughs> so let me get really close so you can see detail. Isn't that pretty? I just love how that top um, half circle turned out on that top pocket. And you could totally decorate this up even more, add even more stuff to the pockets. But I just love how the little three pieces are sticking out. Little goodies are sticking out of each pocket. So there is my three layer tab punch pocket. And I'll go through this a little bit just to let you see. I've still got most all of the uh, original stuff that I had put in this journal in here. And then there's our little V pocket that we made um, a couple of videos back. And there is one of my pages I've already journaled on that I did a video about. And then we've got our pocket there that we just did. There's one of those layered paper flowers that we just made with M Scrap Busters. And that's one of the banners that we had made in another video. So I've got all kinds of um, tutorial video projects, things that I've made with those um, tutorial videos in this journal. And that is what I'm using this journal for is to add in all of those projects that I've already finished. So I'm really liking how this journal is coming out. Got little pockets everywhere. It's got a lot of butterfly stuff in it. Um, then it's got belly bands, more pockets. It's got secretarial pockets on the front and back. So anyway, I'm just going along as I get projects done and adding to it. And I really love that pocket and how it turned out. So if you have any questions about this paper bag layered pocket with the file tabs, let me know and I will do my best to answer any questions that you may have. If you have some ideas that you would like to see me put into this journal, let me know. Um, if you've got some kind of new style of pocket or something that I haven't thought of or something that you think that would go really well in this journal, let me know. I would love to do a viewer-inspired um, video to add to this junk journal. So y'all have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.